Now we're heading just a few miles north to a park in Phoenix, Oregon, where we'll meet up with Rosa and her loving dog, Lulu. They say that the best gift you can give is your time because it's something that you'll never get back. And Rosa is doing just that, giving her time along with her faithful companion therapy dog, Lulu, visiting ones that are sick, elderly or shut-ins, trying to make their day a little brighter and give them some love. So come on, I want you to meet my new friend, Lulu. So can I try giving her the command that you showed me? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna say, uh, Lulu, Lulu. <gasps> That's amazing. Uh, oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even have to. Okay, okay. What does Lulu do with people? What, how, do you, how do you use Lulu and, and you said you help people and I wanted to, I wanted to share your story Thank you. With the viewer because, I mean, you take your time, you volunteer your time, and not only do you volunteer your time, you go to places where people can't leave. Okay. So you're going to them in nursing homes, right? In assisted living homes? Right, in the hospital. And, and in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So Lulu goes to the hospital too? Mm -hmm. She's certified. So once you're certified, you have access to several places. She's not a service dog, there's a difference, but she is a certified therapy dog. So what we do is we visit those facilities and bring comfort and love to those patients who are there. And she was a natural. Her favorite word I think is beautiful because at four months, everybody would be going crazy with a puppy at these facilities. They'd say, oh, she's so beautiful. And she'd just look around and smile and, and twitch and stuff, you know. So she got really used to it. And then we got her certified um, in 2019. And then we started visiting uh, the hospital in Ashland and several, like you said, nursing homes and uh -huh. assisted living facilities. And it's been really, it's been really uh, nice. It's changed my life. It's made me become a, a better person, seeing other people's needs and how ill they are or their circumstances right. and how good we have it when we go back home. Uh, that's you a know. good point yeah. for sure. So. All right, so what, tell me about that poem. Yeah, um, it was really sweet. It was just a small quote, but it mentioned the presence of a loving animal can heal where words have no effect. That's and very beautiful. And something that I got to see when I started to bring Lulu in was the difference in the patients and the residents. Sometimes I would walk into a room and the person would be depressed, an elderly person would be depressed, would not get up from their bed. And by the time we left, they were sitting up on their bed laughing and just, you know, petting Lulu. And this happened time after time to the point where we would get to those facilities on a weekly basis, but I would often hear the patients say, Lulu's here, Lulu's here. No way. And you get these people out of their beds just to see Lulu. Lulu, good job, Lulu. Don't let it go to your head though, okay? <laughs> Listen, don't let it go to your head, but we all, have our moments. Something that's been so surprising to me is how many people from our community has supported us yeah. and have helped us. You'll see in the book, we have a picture with a bomb squad. A oh, yeah. bomb squad allowed us to yes. wear their 80 pound uniform and lent, uh, lent us a robot uh, and a little vest for Lulu. The police, local police, allowed us to use their police car for a photo shoot, dressed us up in police yeah. uniforms, the fire department. Um, that is, I did see that. Is there, is there anything that really like stands out that, that's happened with Lulu that's like just in your mind that she's really helped somebody or done something that... It was this lady, um, she was in a, in a nursing home. We got really attached. She used to love animals and used to love Lulu, but she was blind. And one of the times that I went in, I could tell that she was going to pass away soon. And I, I called out to her gently and I said, May, and she slightly moved her head. And I called out again, May, and she moved again, barely. I approached her with Lulu and I told her, you know what, May, Lulu's here and I would like for you to pet Lulu. And uh, that was the last time I saw May, you know. She died the next day, and that, mm. that broke my heart. Oh. You get to love these people. You get to see their happiness when Lulu comes around and how much they cherish her week by week. Well, Lulu so. did her part with May. She did. So somehow CPR got bought up, and I said, man, it's too bad we don't have a dummy here. 
And then my cameraman pipes in and he says, there's your dummy. So here's your dummy. You CPR, Lulu. CPR. <laughs> He's alive, Lulu. Great job. Good job, Lulu. Good job. Give me a hug. Yeah, good job. You saved him. See? You saved him. Yay. <laughs> This little dog has had lots of adventures. Lulu even has her own book. Not just one, but now volume two came out. So really, this is such a beautiful thing to see in a world full of so many problems. Here it is, someone just giving their whole heart, uh, devoting their time, trying to make someone's day better. Such a beautiful thing.